Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you the three main methods of how you can get money in the Starlet House. The first method I'm showcasing and by far the most popular is by using trains. To do this you first have to buy cargo from your local cargo merchant and put it all on your train. It is made far easier if you have barrel racks. Once all your cargo is on your train, you are ready to embark on your journey to the next settlement. For me, I am heading from the capital of Italonia to the closest city there is. Once you arrive at your destination, get off your train and head to the cargo merchant to sell all of your cargo. Then buy more cargo and get back on the train as you have many more stops before you make this a very profitable venture. There are many routes you can take to sell your cargo, and some are just better than others. For example, the Tilwan Free State one, which is by far the best route to waste your time because of how low the profit margin is on that route. The one I find to be the best is the Italonian route, since they have an expensive railroad system which links you to many colonies and each will earn you a respectable amount of money from one cargo run. There are many trains you can choose from, but you will first have to reach a sufficient level and get enough materials, which is when I have to break it to you that the uh, free state route is useful for beginners, so do not be afraid to run it. After a few cargo runs, you should be able to afford a better train, and eventually read a decent train like the prayer, which is great for mediocre players like me. So let's move on to our next profitable venture. This profitable venture is of course selling and going to other ports to sell your cargo. So first you're gonna have to choose a great ship for your cargo adventures, which is what I'll be calling them from now on. So in your cargo adventure, if you are choosing to exploit Italian trade routes, you will be buying wheat and delivering it to the closest island or to a different Italian city and selling it to your local cargo merchant and then getting back on ship and doing more traveling. This is a very slow way to get it, but it has the biggest profit margin, but let's leave it at that. The next venture is trawling, or how many people like to call it, by many people I mean myself, printing money by catching a near infinite amount of fish. To make a great profit in this venture, you're gonna have to sow far out to sea, because the best fish are in the ocean. This is because there are three types of fish, ocean fish, other fish that are not notable, and the deep ocean fish. The deep ocean fish tend to sell for around 400, so make sure you check that you're actually catching the right fish before getting on the marvelous AFK run the community loves, like I am doing right now. Keep in mind that trawling is by far the most boring way to get money, so I hope you have a good excuse to go to sleep around this time, or you're gonna have to go around in circles like I am right now. After you're done, or are finally fed up of going around in circles like I am, you can sail back to port and, with all your fish, which you probably should remember that you have to pack meaning you don't sell the fish individually, will be selling as money that appeared out of thin air. There I earned almost 4k. To fulfill your AFK dreams, you can always go to your local deck master to spend some money to upgrade your cold storage so that you can spend more time sleeping and still be catching fish. Once you finish, you will be able to go and settle anywhere. I myself chose to settle in Tilwa again because exploiting Italian infrastructure gets boring, but Tilawa is always a fun place. So I bought myself a nice two-story Italian house and furnished it with all the furniture I could afford since I am broke. Property costs a bit, okay? So anyways, starting our tour, we have a map and an ice table. The ice table is there for pure cosmetic reasons since I won't be using it. We also have a small workstation a dining room, or more, more of an interrogation room, and my bed. 
Some homes are yes prettier than others, and as you can see here, mine must not qualify for that. So anyways, I'm going to congratulate you if you followed my steps. You should now be richer than I am actually. Um, I'm gonna just rest here a bit and then who knows, I'm gonna go back to trawling. I'm, I'm feeling a bit sleepy right now. <laughs>